It's a gig that uh, that uh, none of the band knew anything about, with the exception of Frank. Uh, the SDS, Students for Democratic Society. You remember those guys? They came up to the, the German version of the, you know, there was a chapter in the States and there was a chapter in Germany. Basically the same type guys, except the guys from Germany are a, a lot heavier than the ones in the States. Believe me, they were. Well, anyway, we get to the gig. Wow, Berlin, wow, cool, man. We're playing in the in the hall where Hitler made his he used to make his a lot of his speeches, the sports plots in in uh, Berlin, West Berlin. And but the SDS had approached Frank and told him, "Yeah, man, we want you to get the people excited tonight, Frank, and tell them to go burn down the Allied supply dump." which was only right down the street from where we were at, where this place is it's located. And Frank said, hey, man, we can't do that. We got to go back home, man. Are you kidding? They won't even let us back in the country if we do something like that. We'll wind up in jail, which we would have. And so they said, okay, then we're going to destroy your concert. And they did a pretty good job of that. First came the eggs. Showered Frank, man. He had a pair of overalls on. That was his outfit for the night. He got showered with with eggs. They weren't rotten eggs, but they were they weren't cooked eggs. Raw eggs. And then they started throwing these hard green pears. I mean, they were like, it was like getting hit with a baseball, man. I got hit in the shoulder, almost knocked me off the drum stool, man. It really whacked me a good one, man. And then they came to the stage and threw a, can, a, a gallon, probably a liter, it would they don't have gallons over here a couple of liters of green paint up on the stage Port Roy had a pair of white pants on that immediately turned green my drums got a little of that green paint on them Artie's drums did too and then they came and ripped the railing they were ripping the railing off the front of the stage it was like iron pipe like you park bicycles in and they were about 25 of them had it up in the air like this we're gonna throw it up on top of us onto the stage and Herb Cohen and uh, Fritz Rau was the promoter I don't know if you know who Fritz Rau is because but he became one of the most probably with the biggest promoter that ever happened in Germany promoted the Stones, all those people, after the Mothers. We were his first act to promote over here. He did a great job. Anyway, they ran out and they caught this thing before they could throw it. They had it back like this and they just shoved it back and it wiped out about three or four rows of people that were sitting here with this big iron thing on top of them. And that was the end of the first show. So we got off the stage pretty damn quick, man, right up to the dressing room. Where were all the cops? In the dressing room. We had to throw the cops out of the dressing room for us to even get in there. Now these guys are supposed to be protecting us. Supposed to be. And so after about 20 minutes, we get this uh, note coming upstairs that say, if you don't come down and finish the concert, we're going to come up and get you. So anyway, we went down and we played the second, started the second half of the show with 200 people up on the stage. These SDS people. And then they started throwing up onto the stage these big... M4 cherry bombs. Those, those things are like little mini sticks of dynamite, man. 
One went off by Don Preston's leg and burnt the shit out of him, man, really pretty bad. You know, when it blew up, man. And as we, we, I don't even know what we played. We have no idea what we played, man. Because everybody was so nervous with all these guys up on the stage. Some guy was up there, threw this egg at Bunk and hit him in the chest and then went up and said, man, I'm one of your biggest fans. And Bunk wanted to murder him. I thought Bunk was going to smack that guy and knock him off the stage. I wished he had of. He wanted to. Fucker. Boom. Hit him with the saxophone. But that, and then they started taking the equipment off a little at a time, you know, and wound up Roy and Frank and I were the last three up on the stage. They finally got everything off. We got off the stage. They had already opened up the, the window up on the first floor and they were sending the equipment down into the truck. We got off the stage and we got, and we were out of there, man. That was the famous Berlin gig of which the picture of that is on the back of the original Mother Mania record, LP. If you, if you ever get a chance to see one of the originals, one of the first pressings of the Mother Mania record, you'll see a picture of the Berlin riot with eggs all over the front of Frank. They filmed this whole thing. We did. We had it filmed. In fact, what was happening is they were they were following us around filming a lot of the stuff that we did on this tour because it was supposedly going to be in the movie to, uh, Uncle Meat. And a lot of it was in the movie Uncle Meat, the first half until it got until it just got so silly that film. It's a it's a stupid film in my opinion, the second half of it. Who cares about Biff Debris in the cup with the hamburger meat, taking a shower with her? You know, that's, that's it was bullshit, that was. It could have been a great film. Because the music for the from the for the seat from the C D Uncle Meat is brilliant. One of the best CDs we ever did. <laughs> 